NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Telescope won't launch until 2027, and it won't start operating until sometime after that. But that isn't stopping excited scientists from dreaming about their new toy and all it will do. But who can blame them? A new study examines the Roman Space Telescope's power in detail to see if it can help us answer one of our most significant questions about the universe. The question? Will the universe keep expanding and tear itself apart in a big rip? Well, nobody knows for sure, but now with Roman Space Telescope, we will finally have our answer. Welcome to Mystery Hub, where we unravel the deepest and darkest mysteries of the world for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about NASA's new Roman Space Telescope, which will solve the mystery of dark matter. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Roman Space Telescope is a NASA observatory designed to perform wide field imaging and surveys of the near infrared sky and to settle essential questions in the area of dark energy, exoplanets, and infrared astrophysics. After years of preparatory studies, NASA is formally starting an astrophysics mission designed to help unlock the secrets of the universe. According to scientists, the telescope will conduct a High Latitude Wide Area Survey, or HLWAS. The survey's primary goal is to study universal expansion over the universe's history, and the study around it is so deep and wide that it'll enable science that isn't possible with other existing telescopes. While this survey is designed to explore cosmic acceleration, it will also offer clues about many other tantalizing mysteries," said Yun Wang, the lead author of the Astrophysical Journal. It will help us understand the first generation of galaxies, allow us to map dark matter, and even reveal information about structures that are much closer to home right in our local group of galaxies. In addition, while previous NASA projects have made preliminary measurements of exodial dust in habitable zones, Roman's images will be much more sensitive thanks to its advanced high-contrast conograph instrument and its stable location in space. Orbiting a million miles from Earth around the Lagrange Point 2 or L2 instead of in low Earth orbit like Hubble means our planet won't present such a challenging environment from which to make these observations. Roman Space Telescope got its unique name from Nancy Grace Roman, who served as the Chief of Astronomy and Relativity in the Office of Space Science, managing astronomy-related programs and grants. Through Roman's leadership, NASA launched four orbiting astronomical observatories between 1966 and 1972. While only two of the four were successful, they demonstrated the value of space-based astrophysics and represented the precursors to Hubble. Above all, Roman is credited with making the Hubble Space Telescope a reality, and it turned out to be the most scientifically revolutionary space telescope of all time. In addition, considered the mother of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which launched 30 years ago, Roman tirelessly advocated for new tools that would allow scientists to study the broader universe from space. She left behind a tremendous legacy in the scientific community when she died in 2018. It is because of Nancy Grace Roman's leadership and vision that NASA became a pioneer in astrophysics and launched Hubble, the world's most powerful and productive space telescope, said NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. So, the expansion of the universe was and is a mystery. Scientists have a placeholder name for the force that must be driving the expansion, dark energy. For a long time, cosmologists thought the expansion was slowing, but it turns out that's not true. So what exactly is happening in the background? In the early 1990s, one thing was fairly certain about the expansion of the universe. It might have enough energy density to stop its expansion and recollapse. It might have so little energy density that it would never stop expanding, but gravity was certain to slow the expansion as time went on. Granted, the slowing had not been observed, but theoretically, the universe had to slow. The universe is full of matter, and the attractive force of gravity pulls all matter together. Then came 1998, 
and the Hubble Telescope, or HST, observations of very distant supernovae that showed that, a long time ago, the universe was actually expanding more slowly than it is today. So the expansion of the universe has not been slowing due to gravity, as everyone thought. It has been accelerating. No one expected this. No one knew how to explain it. But something was causing it. Eventually, theorists came up with three sorts of explanations. Maybe it was a result of a long discarded version of Einstein's theory of gravity, one that contained what was called a cosmological constant. Maybe there was some strange kind of energy fluid that filled space, or maybe there is something wrong with Einstein's theory of gravity, and a new theory could include some kind of field that creates this cosmic acceleration. Theorists still don't know what the correct explanation is, but they have given the solution a name. It's called dark energy. Now, what is dark energy? More is unknown than is known. We know how much dark energy there is because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery. But it is an important mystery. It turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter, adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Come to think of it, maybe it shouldn't be called normal matter at all, since it is such a small fraction of the universe. So, one explanation for dark energy is that it is a property of space. Albert Einstein was the first person to realize that empty space is not nothing. Space has amazing properties, many of which are just beginning to be understood. The first property that Einstein discovered is that it is possible for more space to come into existence. Then, one version of Einstein's gravity theory, the version that contains a cosmological constant, makes a second prediction. Empty space can possess its own energy. Because this energy is a property of space itself, it would not be diluted as space expands. As more space comes into existence, more of this energy of space would appear. As a result, this form of energy would cause the universe to expand faster and faster. Unfortunately, no one understands why the cosmological constant should even be there, much less why it would have exactly the right value to cause the observed acceleration of the universe. Another explanation for dark energy is that it is a new kind of dynamical energy fluid or field, something that fills all of space but something whose effect on the expansion of the universe is the opposite of that of matter and normal energy. A last possibility is that Einstein's theory of gravity is not correct. That would not only affect the expansion of the universe, but it would also affect the way that normal matter in galaxies and clusters of galaxies behaved. This fact would provide a way to decide if the solution to the dark energy problem is a new gravity theory or not. We could observe how galaxies come together in clusters, but if it does turn out that a new theory of gravity is needed, what kind of theory would it be? How could it correctly describe the motion of the bodies in the solar system, as Einstein's theory is known to do, and still give us the different predictions of the universe that we need? There are candidate theories, but none are compelling, so the mystery continues. Therefore, in conclusion, the thing that is needed to decide between dark energy possibilities is more data, better data. Now, to solve this mystery, NASA has come up with the Roman Telescope, According to scientists, Roman has the power to reveal how galaxies and galaxy clusters, which form some of the largest structures in the universe, evolved over time. Scientists think galaxies were born within vast spherical clumps of dark matter called halos. Observations indicate that each galaxy's luminosity, or absolute brightness, is linked to the mass of the dark matter halo it resides in. So by creating an ultra-deep field image, Roman could help astronomers better understand this connection. This has implications for not only galaxy formation, but also the standard of cosmological models, the theoretical model of how the universe evolves, which includes a dark matter clumping parameter. But the question remains, will we ever know how the universe will end? Well, it is believed that maybe one day we will, 
and we can chat about it at cocktail parties. And we can talk about how the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope helped us find our answer. And this is it for today. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.